Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to get the value start with xx and yy from a column in derived column using SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber arrow95 that how to get the value start with xx and yy from a column in SSIS derived column. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. I have a CSV file testdata.csv and if I show you the data in this particular file so it contains few columns like id first name last name email gender and the description column so if you look at the data in the description column which is the last column so we have the values starting with like xx then we have in the another column we have the value like xx then we have the value as yy then in the fourth row we have the value as yy patrick3 at soup.io so only for the first four records we have the values starting with xx and yy in the description columns but for rest of the data in this particular file it contains 1000 records so for 996 records the values does not starts with xx or yy okay so what we want is that if the value starts with xx or yy only then the that particular value should be imported otherwise the value for the description it should be empty so let's see how we can achieve that using SSI is derived column transformation. So as of now only for the four records the value should be present but for rest of the records the value should be empty. But for example for the tenth record let me just put uh, xx here okay and then for the eleventh record let me put yy here okay. Right now for the six records first four records and then for the record number ten and for the record number eleven this value should be populated otherwise for rest of the records the description should be empty so let me close this one save changes to test data.csv so i can click yes and then i will be importing this particular file to a sql server table so i have sql server table email and it contains the same number of columns whatever columns are present in the csv file so this is my blank exercise package that i will be using today so i can just drag and drop the data flow task because data flow task can be used to import or export data and we can use some transformations in between so i can configure the data flow task because our source file is a csv file so i can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task now i can configure the flat file source click new to create a new flat file connection manager i can browse the file so my file is situated in the d files location and the file type is csv so i will select csv files from here and then I will select the source file. If I click on preview, so the data seems good here. Okay. And I can click on OK. OK. Now I need to use a derived column transformation here. So I can just uh, drag and drop the derived column transformation into the data flow task. And then I can connect the flat file source with the derived column transformation. I can configure the derived column transformation here. And uh, in the expressions, I need to write the condition that if the first two values from the description are either xx or yy then we can take the whole data from the description column for that particular row otherwise we can put a blank value in the description okay so how we can check it if you check the column so our column name is the description so i can just drag in of the description into expression and then we can use a left function here so if you expand the functions so there is a left function so i can write here if left comma 2 equal to xx okay or and then I can just simply copy this one and I can paste this one or if the left description to our yy okay so this is the condition so what we will do in that particular case so if this is the true then we will take the whole data from the description so I can simply copy description from here and I can paste it here otherwise if this is not the case then what we will do we will put the value as blank here okay and then i can press enter so this is the final query that will be executed okay and uh, right now if you check here so the data type it is taken as unicode string but if you want to take the data type as a string so what we can do that uh, we can enclose everything in the bracket and then we can write here dt underscore str comma 50 comma 1252 1252 is the code page for the string so now you can see that the data type has been changed to string 50 
so that's the only code that we need to write and now we can give a new name to this particular column so maybe I can call this column as DESC2 okay and then I can click on OK now if you want to insert the data to a SQL Server table so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination here and then I can connect the drive column transformation with the OLEDB destination and I can configure the OLEDB destination I need to click new to create a new OLEDB connection manager we already have a connection to the test database so I can select this connection and I can click on OK from data access mode I will select table or fast load and then I can select the table so my table name is email so I can select this table now I can click on the mappings so you can see that it has mapped all the input columns with the destination columns but for the de description column I need to select the new column that I created so my new column name is DESC2 so I can select this column from here and I can click on OK so now my SSIS package is ready to be executed and if I go back to the SSMS and if I execute the query so right now the email table is empty ok so let me execute my SSIS package and it should import the data from the CSV file into a SQL server table and for the description column it should only insert the data if the value starts with either YY or XX so let's see how it works so I can execute the query so now you can see that for the first four records where the value starts with either XX or YY the data is populated and similarly for the record number 10 and 11 if the value started with XX or YY then the data is populated otherwise for rest of the records the data is not populated so I think this is what we wanted from this particular SSIS package I will share the expression code that I used in the derived column and you can check it in the description of the video yes, so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much